<laughs> Alright, here we are um, with the world we built in the first tutorial. Uh, the biggest change being the uh, lighting. Full relight, which is the tool right here. Relights everything, the lights are then recalculated and such. Now we're going to be added in the. Alright, here's the player. Alright, we'll be added in the room that we just made. Over here, the room's been copied to the files. Just have to hover up a bit. Place the room in. And. Get the heck out of the room. Now, as you see, the room is pretty dark. There's no lighting. You gotta relight it. Well, it's just been lighted, but not fully lighted. Uh, let's get down on the ground. In the game. And move this. I think that's decent enough. Whatever. Oh, now I did change the textures because the texture I was using, there was something wrong with it. I guess it wasn't powered to the second power, so I'm gonna have to square it down a bit, resize it manually. Um, now we relight the scene. Should take a few seconds. Um, Alright, that was quick. Then we're gonna change it back to the camera and talk with the camera again so it's between players and here we are with the infamous orc you've seen him at this height once before I'm pretty sure everybody's familiar with him by now I see he can walk in chill out on a mattress or whatever it is supposed to be the wooden box here here's the ends he knows his limits it's a pretty big room we've got here um, as far as lighting entities, um, they'll be added later sometime, I don't know. So here we are, everything's in bounds. Uh, this is the mission area. Basically the, um, the area which you'll be working with. Now, just like we built before, we have our grass, we have our stones, we have the mountains, we have the snowy mountains in the back over here somewhere. We have um, what's going to be our lake, I'll finish where the textures went at, but this is going to be our lake. Put the water and uh, the fish and the guns up in here, and we'll be good to go. Um, that'll be a tutorial that'll come up another time. Right now, this is just showing you the item that was built before. Uh, it needed a little bit of work, but it's easy to get done. I mean, that's one thing I do understand that every engine has its niche, but I really like uh, working with a lot of the tour products because there's always a community to back them up. There's uh, so much documentation. There's so much time you could spend on learning it. It's not really hard. I, I'm not a programmer. I don't program at all, but I gotta learn Torque uh, scripts. Not only would I benefit from learning programming and be able to program some of the things I want, I'll be able to pretty much get my own engine and work on things myself. Everything works better in the team, yes. Um, it does look better if you're able to do things or uh, if you're the general uh, instead of the specialization type of guy. A lot of times, uh, a lot of businesses will prefer specialized because they want things done professionally, but in a small team, it's very good to gen um, be the general. I mean, well, the general um, type player, not the general, like, I own you, I command you, this is the army. But really look into how to how to really um, fit in with the team, learn different skills. Um, I really don't know what else to say from here. I'm going to end this video as soon as I jump off the edge, that's what I'm trying to get to. And with that, um, I would like to close this video. Thanks for watching.